Oh, well, as we slowly inch forward and get closer and closer to Mexico, we are going to talk about the shows that Fish has played in Kansas City now, in honor, of course, of the Kansas City Chiefs winning the Super Bowl last night. Can't say I was really that into the game. By the time it got into the third quarter, we sat down and watched the rest of it from there on out, and it was quite exhilarating. And as I... Uh, I always say when I think about the Super Bowl, if it's not the Browns, well, it's going to be great. It's going to be great when the Browns do eventually get there. All right, so we will start with October 19th, 1995 at the Municipal Auditorium. Not really much going on in the first set. There was a big Mike's, though. I thought Mike's was one of the highlights there. And then they get into this lawn boy, big black furry creatures from Mars, Kung, Suspicious Minds, Hold Your Head Up. You know, one of those kind of situations there. Then they played A Day in a Life. They also played A Day in a Life the next year. Maybe out of the two 90s shows, this one was my favorite. And then the next one had a really great first set, but then it kind of started to fizzle a little bit in the second set. I got A Day in a Life once again, as I said. Theme from the bottom, Stash and Taste, Fee, all in the first set. Equaling a great first set. You got Jim, uh, Bathtub Jen in the second set. And then the YEM, uh, YEM vocal jam had a uh, Groove is in the Heart feel to it, thanks to John Fishman there. And they're like kind of a wild, wacky. So they both kind of had some wild, wacky fish moments there. You know, the YEM vocal jam, and then you got that whole Lawn Boy through Hold Your Head Up segment. And then they both go with Day in a Life. Loving Cup, a lot of Loving Cup action in these shows. Then we go all the way, fast forward all the way till 2012. This time we're at Starlight. And then, um, <clears throat> again, another strong first set and a second set that kind of fizzled. Second set started strong with a Tweezer, Piper, Mike's Groove. Uh, Mike's song, that is, eventually got into Weekapog. But then it was just, I don't know, bouncing around the room, number line. A lot of nonsense going on in between the Mike's and the Weekapog. And uh, that was probably my least favorite of the four shows. And then we got to the one show I actually went to. Made the trip all the way out there. Going from Dayton to Tuscaloosa to Kansas City. Then all the way back to Blossom in the summer of 2015. Summer of 2015, a really great summer for the band. This show probably gets overlooked just because there were so many great shows that summer. Second set started with uh, Got a Jabu that I really liked. Had a middle of the second set, Down with Disease. Got a cool Mike song in the first set. First set ended with a, just a rockin' 46 days. And then... um Got a nice gumbo in there, and a y, another YEM. I don't know if there was a Loving Cup that night, nor a Day in the Life. So that pretty much covers the four shows. Just ripping right through those, you know. I'll be honest, we're just kind of we're just kind of killing time at this point, looking for shows to listen to and talk about until the big uh, the big Mexico run coming up. Although it's not that big of a run, we're getting like three and a half shows really. The one day, I guess it's just like one set. Then Sunday, I think, starts early, is it? Is it Sunday that starts early? It's kind of weird, too. I don't know. It's all weird. All right, guys, boom, we are out of here. So, I guess in order, I liked... That doesn't matter. 95, then 2015, then I guess 96, and then... Nah, I don't know. I probably like 96, 95, 15, 12. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs>